you're getting ready to intubate the patient and you've got your PPE on. This is a patient you suspect might be COVID-19 disease. Mm -hmm. And and so you're, um, you're, you're gowned up, you have your yeah. face shield, you have your mask, you're gonna have the, um, the most experienced person do the intubation. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, so do an intubation just so, for COVID level. Yeah, so, so basically then you wanna try, you wanna, the, the, the worst time to get an exposure basically is during intubation, especially oh, yeah. if you're doing it manually. So what are you gonna do? Instead of, in a, instead of doing direct DL, what are you gonna do? So again, it's just like setting up for all the other intubations, you wanna make sure you have all your things, your suction, your oxygen, your airway equipment, both your video laryngoscopy, as well as your backup direct laryngoscopy and the tools, as well as all your other equipment, your staff members. In this time of COVID, we also wanna make sure that everyone's donned appropriate uh, PPE, especially anyone that's gonna be near the head of the bed also needs the additional protection of hopefully an N95 or other equivalent, as well as face shield, and again, all the appropriate PPE donning, um, because you will be right in the highest exposed area of the oral pharynx of the patient. So you're gonna um, use your youngest, most experienced person to do the intubation? In this time period, in these situations, you really want someone with more skill. So your more senior available staff member or provider to do the intubation, be that you know the, the highest level resident or even the attending to make sure that this goes as smoothly as possible because you want to minimize the time to intubation and the time of exposure as well as, again, get the patient who's potentially very ill the best airway management as quickly as possible. So you're going to do a video laryngoscope, mm -hmm. you're going to have your most experienced intubator do the procedure, mm -hmm. and then are you going to have... Um, Observers in the room. You're gonna... Uh, you're gonna have as minimal staff available as needed, so just your mandatory needed staff. Um, so your respiratory tech, your most senior staff members uh, who are doing the procedure, and as few nursing staff as possible. And zero students, zero observers. Okay, and it's probably not a bad idea to have a um, HEPA filter running, uh, cleaning the air, if clearing get, the air. If it's available, we'll have all the all the protections we can get, including our um, our even our mobile. HEPA filter stations. And um, then uh, doing it in a closed room would not be a bad idea. Correct. I mean, this, this place is, is not very enclosed, so no. this is not the not um, ideal, but uh, this is the corner, no. and the corner is where we do our innovation. Where, um, where video laryngoscopy would be a, an ideal use case, just to have nothing else to minimize your exposure, uh, as well as just the time to intubation.